what is up everybody welcome back to another video today we are going over valorant patch notes 9.06 so let's get right into the video so these patch notes mostly involve around player behavior gameplay system updates new player tips and such and more also in this video i'll be also going over the sunset changes that are coming out soon so stay tuned for that hi joe allen here with a bunch of updates and patch notes 9.06 in particular you'll now be able to see if you're picking up a reaver vandal or forsaken vandal new uh, valorant uh, pc players will now get tips on how to play the voting system will no longer count afk players in the draw vote as players let us know what you think in the future updates and looking for feedback. So for all platforms, agent abilities involving walls and had their interaction with a glass window on ascent change. Uh, Phoenix Blaze and Neon's fast lane will break the uh, window. If their initial cast center point would hit the window, but the walls themselves do not interact with the window. Harbor High Tide will no longer break the glass uh, window since it does not hit walls. Amber Trademark, Cypher Stripwire, and KJ's Lockdown will no longer break windows when placed too close. Uh, Brim's Orbital uh, AoE and Vice Steel Garden's AoE wind-up audio integration has been updated from being positioned directly on the agent when in the AoE to being slightly direct directional towards the origin of the AoE to allow you to know which uh, direction to travel in in order to escape gameplay system updates updated uh, voting systems so that draw votes no longer take into account afk players gameplay system updates updated voting systems that draw votes no longer take into account afk players map updates haven there are several quality of life improvements to help placing the arc rose and cypher strip wires on crates on haven That'd be interesting to see in the future. So we got player behavior updates. So we have adjusted our comms abuse penalties to create better comms experience and Valorant people who engage in repeated comms behavior or abuse behavior will receive increased penalties. In order to create a healthier comms experience in Valorant, we'll be issuing comms abuse penalties to people who have received a manual behavior evaluation due to their repeated pattern of comms abuse. Social updates. We made an update to our voices, uh, voice chat system. You should now more reliably reconnect to voice chat after unexpected disconnects weapon updates we're adding weapon skins names in game weapon switcher we hope this will make it easier to determine what skin you are using when you pick up or switch to a weapon you can see this change in your in-game hud bug fixes agents fix an issue with deadlocks a sonic sensor stay active if placed as deadlock was killed fix an issue where cypher's tripwire did not take damage from certain abilities i wonder if that's going to include the gecko molly now uh fix an issue where gecko's wingman could get stuck in a loop while attempting to chase an unreachable target fix an issue where yoru's uh, fake out did not trigger vice's shear that's a huge change i like that fix an issue where breach was unable to cast abilities through vice's shear Fix an issue where Soba's recon bolt was destroyed by Vice's Shear. Fix an issue where Gecko Thrash and Razor uh, Razor's uh, Showstop could hit people on the other side of Vice's Shear. Fix an issue where the Arc Rose could not be placed on invalid objects. Fix a various collision issues with Vice's Shear that block bullets and people while despawning. Or, dis yeah, yeah, despawning. Fix a rare instance of people's bodies being clipped through uh, Vice's Shear. Fixing an issue where Vice's Razor Vine and Shear had lingering VFX when canceling early. Cosmetics. Fix the third person animation for the Nocturnal Scythe when uh, it was no longer a peer higher than the agent model when you equipped the melee. Game sys uh, gameplay systems. Fix an issue where the combat report did not display kill text when you kill an ally. Fix an issue where a combat report killed by text would not would have incorrect text alignment in Arabic. Shout out to all the Arabic fans out there. Shout out. This fixes for you. Maps. Breeze. Fix an issue with the mechanical door at A switch where bullets would not be able to go through even though the door was open. PC game player system updates. New player tips defaulted on new accounts only. As for community, complete tutorials uh, and start your shar uh, sharpening your skills on the battlefield. We want to make sure you are armed with the right information to order to succeed and secure the clutch. So we implemented a new player tip system that will display useful information, in-game information based on your actions you take during the match. These tips will include critical information for gameplay fundamentals, potentially focusing on skill improvements and suggestions for advanced strategies. 
Note, if you're an existing player, new player's uh, tips won't show up unless you turn on this setting. Our new player tips have been built in from the ground up to give you opportunities to skill up and learn Valorant faster via tips that listen to your in-game match and behaviors, tips that level up with you uh, as you learn the fundamentals of Valorant gameplay, from beginner to advanced strategies, tips can be switched on or off in your settings. Social updates, you will now block communications with other players. When you block somebody, you are, will no longer see or hear any direct communications from them, including message and chat, voice comments, party invites, requests, and friend requests. Console gameplay settings, updates to mega map cursor sensitivity settings, added a new setting to allow you to select an input curve for the mega map cursor controls, added agent, agent specific cursor curve settings for abilities to utilize the mega map. Ooh, okay, so now you can have nice little curves uh, for Brim, Clove, and Omen. Very nice. Remove, remove aim assist from some abilities that aren't intended to target opposing players. Map updates, Fracture, enters unrated and swift play queues. This is the final legacy map being added to console mode queues. Console players now have the entire catalog of current Valorant map. Okay, so that's basically it for all the updates, especially for 9.06. Now I want to show you a video of exactly how the system works, just so you have a visual representation, because of some of these changes, you really can't understand or understand it until you actually see it for yourself, especially for all you uh, visual learners out there. Okay, so these are the harbor balls or harbor changes. I never actually noticed this until now that this actually happens, but nobody actually places anything here. So this is why this is, it goes into my understanding of maybe this might be a potential new impl implementation of a new map in the future. Now we got bugs and now we'll go over pretty much all the bugs that were talked about. So now the Yoru decoy clone will actually activate Vice's uh, wall trap. As before, when it was released, it wasn't working as intended. Now they fixed it. And I'm pretty sure that's the biggest one. Now we're going over the sunset changes and not going to lie, these are actually pretty some crazy changes and I'm super excited to actually look at that and look at them in the future. Quickly, we're adjusting B site to make it more defensible at a baseline, removing the unbreakable cipher trapwire spot and changing B main to reduce some of that post plant gameplay. We'll also be making some light changes to mid to add some defender options when defenders opt into contest. Okay, so I'm just going to mute that. So visually, so this is before, this is the current now. And really, like, the whole meta in Sunset is either plant here or plant here for a post-plant post plant spam. Uh, where the problem is, everybody does it, and, and it's not just your rank games. It's also, like, VCT stuff. Now, you have the designated planter spot right here, but you also have this brought up at a certain time, so... And I wonder... I'm actually kind of curious if this is going to be Odin spammable. No reason. Just curious. That's all. Especially since Cypher has been so dominant on this map. Next, we're changing back. And this is pretty easy, but like nobody would be, nobody would hide here except for an Omen or a Jet who'd be able to come up here. Now, with the changes, that was a little quick. Now, with the changes, you have the ability to hear and you have the ability to hear, but I don't like this over here. The problem with this is there has been a couple times on, I believe, Fracture where they have this verticality that's a bit weird and will throw kind of aiming off. Uh, I'm not sure if I like this in particular, but I see what they're going for. I don't know if I'm going to like it, but I'm pretty sure that's spammable. I don't think that's spammable, so you have to clear this out. So this is before you got the impossible cipher trip here. This is being changed or this I'm pretty sure it's maintaining the same. Now you this is basically I think being just brought out just a bit. Oh no. Yeah, yeah. So this wall right here is being flattened. And so there's a bit more of an angle. So I wonder if there's probably going to be a trip going here to here. That's a lot more manageable to shoot than the one previous from here to here. So that's where probably another cipher trip is going to be because that trip itself is just so powerful for map knowledge where you actually have to specifically use a specific agent just to counter it. Um, oops, I meant to go back. Also, they got rid of the middle box area. 
especially for the post plant because everybody knows that you just hide behind there and you're basically golden now there will probably be a lot more people on the side but you're probably not going to want to hide over here especially if there's a breach or something uh more mids mids okay like there's nothing much change mid like nobody's going to hide over here next we got some agent changes coming to phoenix sage cypher and gecko for sage Definitely much needed. I think Sage is probably one of the worst agents in the game. Probably the only map she's actually useful on is Icebox. And Icebox is leaving, so there's you need a change for her. Phoenix, the best part of his kid is his flashes. So if you can improve anything else into his kit, that is definitely much needed. We got Gecko probably into this realm. We're going into the nerfs now. And I think Gecko is probably one of the I think in the last tier list I did, he is definitely an eight or sorry, an S tier initiator. Probably one of the best in his tier. That's not saying much because like I would make an argument for any of the initiators are like A tier, B tier, the S tier. Just depends on the map and depends on the comp. But Gecko itself is way too useful in too many maps and too many situations that definitely needs a nerf in the future. And Cypher, my poor Cypher. Just buff him. Just buff him more. Even though he's probably the best agent or one of the best agents in the game right now. Buff him more. I don't care. Buff him more. That's it for the video, everybody. Thank you for all who stay tuned for to the end. Peace out. Have a wonderful time. And I'll see you next time. Peace out.